Hello guys, this is the introduction video to CloudFormation templates. Most of you might be knowing it, but CloudFormation is the way of uh, automating infrastructure provisioning in AWS. We can basically implement infrastructure as code practices using CloudFormation templates. The idea would be like this. So what all resources you want to provision for your client, you define those things as a template either in JSON or YAML and upload the template to CloudFormation engine and get this resource provisioning automated. CloudFormation is a service specific to Amazon Web Services. It doesn't work with other cloud providers like uh, Terraform. So Terraform is one of the open source tools from HashiCorp that supports different cloud providers. But coming to CloudFormation, this is something specific to Amazon Web Services. The service is altogether free, but if it is provisioning some resources, for that we have to pay. Basically, the architecture looks like this. Uh, we write at CloudFormation templates using JSON or AML. Once we have written that, we upload that file to CloudFormation engine in our AWS management console. CloudFormation engine provisions resources for us. Let's see an example to create VPC in Amazon Web Services. Before that, I want to introduce one editor. And in that editor, I want to help you with adding some plugins, packages, which helps us to write these templates by getting autocomplete and auto-generating few code there. You guys can use any kind of editor you like, but I want to use Atom Editor. Uh, this Atom supports uh, uh, Windows as well as it supports Mac OS. I am doing this example on Mac OS. Let me open this atom and let me help you with how to set up a few packages which helps us to uh, get some autocomplete options. So I want to create one workspace called as uh, Cloud Formation Templates. Let's see into that. And I want to open my Atom editor in the current directory. So go to help and search for packages here. So it comes under packages, a settings view, manage packages. Click that. So this is my package I am using here. See Atom C form. So this is the one I installed. This particular package helps us to get autocomplete and it also helps us to auto generate the skeleton of the code which makes our life easy. So install it and once you install it, I'll show how to use that while developing this cloud formation templates. Let's close this. Uh, let me create a new file here. I'm going to call this one as vpc.json because it's going to be a JSON file for us. Type start in this file. See that you get this autocomplete automatically. Enter that. When you enter and save, see this, right? it has created a CloudFormation skeleton. Basically, the CloudFormation template contains version. Then it contains something called as description, metadata, parameters, mappings, conditions, resources, and outputs. These are the major components of CloudFormation template. So this skeleton is automatically generated for us. Okay. We will talk about each and every component here in detail in different videos. But in this specific video, I want to focus on resources. So under resources, I want to create a VPC. So your AWS resources must come under resources, okay? So this is where we define all the resources like VPC, subnet, route table, internet gateway, and etc. So in this case, I want to create a VPC. Let's go and type VPC. See, the moment we type VPC, this package we installed, right? This is giving autocomplete, and when you select that, it generates the skeleton code for us. Let's enter. So if you see this, it has generated something called as name. We should modify this. The type of resource is VPC and certain properties of that VPC. So before completing this code, let me also show 
the cloud formation documentation to understand how these things are structured. Let's search for cloud formation VPC code. Let's open this documentation. So this should give the fair idea about how to provision VPC using cloud formation. So it talks about syntax here. See that? This is a syntax. So every resource has a type and the syntax for the type is this and AWS double colon EC2 double colon VPC that's the type of resource we are interested in and the properties of that resource so in this case we need to specify CIDR block for VPC and maybe enable DNS support DNS host names instance tenancies tags etc 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 so you can find this documentation from amazon web services when you're working on any kind of resource let's come back to our code now so every resource has a name uh, this is nothing but logical name i want to make this one as uh, my vpc you can give any kind of uh, logical name but keep it relevant so then obviously the type of resource we are interested in is vpc for this resource the properties we want to set like cider block go there let's define some a uh, cider block for this i'm putting some cider block like 10 0, 0, 0, 16 we also want to set up a couple of tags so take out this iphone and type tag and use this autocomplete option enter that see it is automatically adding the skeleton of that uh, tag code here so key should be name and the value i want to put is uh, cf demo vpc uh, save it see when you save it is also automatically formatting your template we are done with uh, developing this cloud formation template i want to upload this template to my uh, cloud formation engine opening my aws management console let's go and do that from management console search for cloud formation so from cloud formation let's say create stack when you say create stack we need to upload that json file we created so click choose file here uh, we can upload this uh, json files even from s3 you can upload all the files to s3 and we can select those files from s3 and we can create stack as well so in this case i'm directly uploading my file from my uh, local file system so open that say next so when you click next this cloud formation engine validates your template if there are any issues with this template it gives an error so accordingly you go and fix your error and re-upload and it should work let's give a name for this stack i'm calling it as uh, cf demo one go to next these tags are optional i'm ignoring them go to next and say create the stack creation process is initialized in the background your cloud formation engine is reading your template and it picks all the resources section in that accordingly it's going to provision the resources for us once this stack creation completes we could see that vpc uh, which we added in the cloud formation template let's refresh yeah the stack creation is complete you also can see the events here See that the first event is uh, user in initiated the stack creation and it started creating VPC and it says in progress and finally it says VPC creation completed even the stack creation is completed there. So let's check the output from VPC dashboard. So go there. Let's go to VPC. Yeah, see that. It's created this CF demo VPC and this is our first example.